Alrighty, here we are. Um, where do we want to go now? We can just we can just go back and get that stuff later because I'll be going down there eventually anyway. Um, give myself a bit of a makeshift staircase here. Um, that's all right. I had to block it off because there was a, a zombie chasing me. But it's creepers, man. They just keep coming. I think we got to go up there next. If not only to stop the creepers from coming. Because things keep pouring down from up here. And I don't really care for it. And besides, there's also some stuff up here that we can get. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys, the first couple episodes of this are going to be me caving a lot. Because I'm going to need a lot of resources. And, uh... There's only one way to get those resources right now. <laughs> um, and, in fact, probably a lot of episodes will be about me just caving, because um, even once I have my quarry going, it's not going to be like I'm going to... It's not like I'm just going to, you know, log in and stand there. Oh! Um, you know, I'll probably be out caving while my quarries are going and uh, getting more stuff. So, um, some episodes will just be like me building things. Like, it, it could take me a good half hour to build a sorting room and everything, if not more. So, you know, that's always nice. Of course, if you don't want to watch one of those episodes, you don't have to. If you don't want to, ha you don't want to watch any of these episodes, you don't have to. Um, probably shouldn't say that. I probably shouldn't say that. It's bad for, like, marketing. But, it's true. So, you know, um, if if caving isn't your thing, then these episodes are probably not for you. If building isn't your thing, but caving is, then these episodes are probably really for you. And later ones might not be. Um, but, you know, it's just a little bit of something for everyone, I guess. Um, I do like to get really cool automated stuff going, so... You might see a bit of that. Um, you know, later on. Uh, I don't. I don't actually have a color for silver, do I? Um, what's the other one? Yellowish, yellowish, greenish. Something like that. Just so I can color coordinate it. You know, it's always nice have things color coordinated. That's lead. I think that's lead, and that's lead too. But that's monazite behind it. Ooh, what's up there? Um, let's build our way across here. I'm gonna try to make this pathway a little bit wider so that I don't accidentally fall off or anything. And uh, let's head this way. We can get that stuff later. Eh, let's get the copper now. Like, I'll definitely be coming through at some point and clearing out the, uh, the ravine of any and all materials, because that's, like, a, a nexus point for all of my waypoints so far. Like, all of them pass through there, so there's no problems with me going back to it. Unlike some far-off, uh, dead end somewhere, then I'll probably never get those things again. Like, up here... Stuff up here, I'm probably never going to come this way again once I'm done up here. So, well, then again, I shouldn't say that, because these caves are probably a lot more extensive than they look right now. As it dead ends. Um, no, it looks like it's going to go for a little bit more, at least. Although, I, based on my past experience with caves, I would say this cave is pretty much done, at least in this direction. Um, just because it's getting thin, which means the end should be, like, just around the corner. Uh, in there. See? Told you. I know what I'm talking about. Kind of. It's probably just a lucky guess, but... Oh, well. I mean, there are plenty of times where I think... Man, I really need to learn to look up, because I keep missing things on the ceiling. I mean, I guess I, I get them eventually, so I am looking up, but... Problem is, I'm missing them the first time. Uh, can't always rely on myself to go back 
Like here. I hate it when I do that. Oh well. Um, I guess we picked a good direction to go because there was nothing that way. I always like to finish off the the loose ends first, like you know, to get to a dead end first, and then um, backtrack a little bit and get to the the actual cave. Um, it's, that's one thing you learn from playing video games is always go to the dead end first because there's something useful there almost every time. I mean, in my, not so much in Minecraft because it's all randomly generated, especially in other video games. You want to go for the the dead end first because that's where they put all the good stuff. I mean, usually it's guarded by probably some some mean monsters, but that's not a big deal for great heroes such as yourself. Whoa! What just happened? Where? Where is he? <laughs> He's up somewhere. I know that. We got some more uranium over there. We'll have to get that at, at another time because uh, right now I'm going skilly hunting. I don't want to get knocked off. Ah, found him. Okay. Um, well, that's alright. This is an opportunity to light up the the upper portion of the ravine. Let's see if there's anything good. Probably no diamonds up here. Um, let me rephrase that. There's definitely no diamonds up here. Uh, I don't actually know how far down the bottom of this place is. That's a ruby right there, thanks to some redstone and some uranium. We're gonna get down there. Some good stuff. Um, get more lead, some iron. Probably more lead. Apparently, lead's pretty common. Also, you'd think uranium would be kind of rare since it's, you know, what you power nuclear generators with, but. Which I will never touch, by the way, just because I have no idea what to do with nuclear stuff. It's all complicated and really involved, and that's not something I know how to handle. Oh no. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh well. I guess I'm, I'm gonna die here. <laughs> not much I can do about that. I did upgrade some of these furnaces here. Um, there's some iron in there. So that's nice. <laughs> not that it matters all that much. Um, iron furnaces do... One coal cooks ten things instead of eight things in an iron furnace. So you can get effectively, like, it's 125% um, efficiency. Not like, not 125 bonus percent, just, you know. If regular if regular furnaces are at 100% efficiency, then um, iron furnaces are at 125%. Oh, no. No. Get away from me. <laughs> Gotta get my stuff. Well, I guess I picked a good place to die in. Because there's no... Oh, no. How did you get down here? Not supposed to be that smart. Put my bronze helmet back on. Yeah. What, is it missing a pixel right there? That's interesting. <laughs> Alright. If you say so. Let's put that there. That goes there. Goes there. Put that one there. There we go. There we go. What the heck was that noise? Was that like a bat dying somewhere? I think, but in like a really weird way. Oh no! There's too much lava around right now, creeper. I'm not in the mood. Or you can just you know break my way out. That's cool. Just dig another one. Cause I'm pro like that. A little bit of lag there. That's all right. It doesn't seem to be that laggy lately. Um, you know, uh, feed the beast doesn't seem to be that laggy, which is good because, you know, sometimes mods can lag out the game because there's just more stuff to handle and everything. But it doesn't seem to be doing anything really. Um, what the heck was that? Oh, gold. <laughs> that was lucky. Um, did you guys hear that? It sounded kind of like a splash. But it was just once. Um, like, it didn't sound like, you know, the normal sound that makes when something falls in water. 
It was just like a... That probably sounded more like a slime. It also probably sounded pretty disgusting, so I'm sorry for that. I, mean, I really need to get a bucket in here at some point and uh, grab some of this stuff. I'll just plug that up for now. And that. And grab some uranium. Because oh no! <laughs> Cover it up. <laughs> Gold. Gold. What you doing back there? Silly gold. Tricks are for kids. Okay. There's that problem solved. Now I just need to get into it. Yeah. Delicious gold. Mmm, butter. I don't know. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. What? How did... Oh, was it you? Was that you? Are you being a butthead? I think he's being a butthead. I, I almost tried to eat that uranium. It's probably not very healthy. Oh, that's not redstone. That's copper. But it's redstone. Oh, well. Copper's useful, too. Maybe not as useful. Oh, that and that's redstone. Uh, I'm... Okay. I saw... It looked like they were both red, so I figured one was ruby and one was, um... Redstone. Because they're both red. But... Apparently not. So, I guess just screw me. Oh no! You bad. Get away from my copper. And get these bats out of my face. For being all aggressive and stuff. For passive mobs. Oh, looks like that's the bottom of this thing done. There's a bunch of coal here. And some tunnels off to the side, but still. Ooh! That's diamond! Yeah! Diamonds! No, oh, be more. Please be more. Please let there be more. I want more. That's not enough. That's like really not enough. Three. I got three diamonds. That is very much not enough. See, like, the lava from this thing right here, this little pool, would be, like, more than enough to, uh, supply me with power for quite a while if I had a thermo, uh, thermonuclear, um, geothermal generator, which I don't have one yet, but, oh my god! <laughs> hey, little, oh, yeah, lava does that, buddy. Um... I freaked out at first because I thought it was a gas fireball. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Um, and then it started swerving, and I was like, oh, jeez, it's a crazy, like, uncontrolled AI gas fireball. And then it just turned out to be a bat. So, you know, I was a little disappointing, as well as quite a relief. Because I was pretty excited about my discovery of the uncontrolled AI gas fireball thing in the overworld. Because, I mean, who wouldn't be? I need a jetpack. <laughs> Taking too much fall damage here. I keep having to jump down to get stuff, or... for other various reasons. Um, and it's not comfortable. So I really need to get a jetpack. Let's do this. Swap that out. I mean, I, I should have swapped it out earlier, so we could get some... Um, so we could get some actual repair on it, because I'm only going to get like two uses out of two extra uses out of it for repairing it, but... Oh, it's a skeleton. Oh, right. It's... Yeah, he's making his way around. Ow! Did he drop a bow? No, he didn't. I thought he did for some reason. Uh, that's not the button I wanted. 38 coal. Let's pick up some more of this. It's pretty bad practice of me to just, like, only carry around a stack of coal on me at any given time. Um, because, like, I don't have any more stockpiled anywhere. Quarries, however, will be able to get me tons and tons of, um, coal and stone and everything, so I'm not really all that worried about it. Especially if you can get, um, 
get some markers. I think they're they're like I don't know. They're little torch-like things. You make them with um. It might actually just be a torch and lapis, but uh, they you can make a really large area for a. Um, Oh, look at that. I didn't do another cave. Um, you can make a really large area for the quarry to dig out. So we could just go underground and set it up with some power and uh, let it go. And, oh no! <laughs> Stabbed it in the face with a pick. How that feel? Probably not good. See, once I start carrying more than... A stack of coal. Okay, I'm I'm done doing that now. Uh, where's my wood? Where's my wood? There it is. To start carrying more than a stack of coal. I end up with it just wastes inventory space. At least that's what it feels like. Um, so I usually just carry around one. But when I'm caving, that means that I don't care. I don't pick up any of the coal that I walk by. So I end up with a coal deficiency. Especially if I'm going to be using like a normal generator for a while, which I probably won't be because I seem to have access to quite a bit of lava. Um, I'll just go straight to geothermal if I can. But, uh, you know, if you're going to be using a, an electric generator, or, or a coal power generator, you're going to want to stockpile some coal because it, it can eat through it pretty quick. Um, I found that it's really just a regular coal generator is really not good. Um, it's so inefficient. I mean, I don't want to say that, but you, you have to have so much coal to power it that it's like, this is stupid, why am I doing this? Um, whereas, like, a bucket of lava will last you quite a while. Um, well, I guess that's not necessarily true. Several buckets of lava will last you a while. Depends on what you're using them for, you know? Um, if you're running... Uh, like, okay, macerators crush things into dust. Um, I guess that's not relevant. Um, I will be making a macerator, because you, you get two dust per ore. Um, and then you can smelt one into a... D ah! What is wrong with you, you magic interdimensional spider? Just, like, falling through stuff. I hate how I miss things like that. Um... But, uh, so I will be making a macerator at some point, but I guess that wasn't really relevant to what I was saying, because almost all of the machines that you can make, like furnaces and stuff, have one kind that, um, that's, like, advanced, that allows you to, if you keep it running, it can go really quickly. Like, uh, there's induction furnaces, um, for, like, the furnace stuff. There's rotary macerators. Um, there's, uh... Like, you can see the, the macerator here is just the regular macerator, and then the rotary macerator, which requires an advanced machine block, which requires some extra stuff. Um, that's interesting. I didn't know you could make more of them out of something. Also, what is a rolling machine? I, all right. I'm going to have to figure that out at some point. Um, but with, like compressors, there's singularity compressors, um, compress stuff, it, like, in that fashion. Compressed sawdust. What do you make out of that? You can make charcoal out of that. How do you make, how do you get sawdust? I don't know. Oh, I guess I could just go like this. Oh, by sawing, what? 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 How does that even happen? I need to figure that out. Apparently you can cut logs into six planks instead of two and get sawdust, which you can then turn into coal. So, that's interesting. I'm running out of inventory space again. <laughs> Big surprise, right? Um, I do hate how quickly I run out of inventory space. It's like, no matter what I do, there's just... How did I get... Oh. Alrighty. And then I guess this is just back in the... Uh, the ravine. Yeah. All right. Um, well, I guess I'm going to head back up to the base again, uh, or the village again, and uh, because I'm kind of filling up here, and I want to. Yeah. I want to. Uh, How's that creeper? Oh, he's right next to me. 
A sneaky booger. Nope. There you go. Um, I want to like get this diamonds, these diamonds safe and stuff. Put this stuff away. Um, maybe we'll be able to make a geothermal generator, and that'll be fun. So, oh, and by the way, uh, expect a lot of these episodes to be coming up because I'm gonna be home alone for a week, and I'm gonna get bored. So I might do a lot of these. If I don't do many of them, then I probably won't upload them. Um, but uh, if I do, then prepare for like a flood, because I'll be playing it a couple hours a day at least. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll be back after I, um, I'll, I'll meet you guys back up at the village. Um, what's this? <laughs> I was going around trying to get some sand so we could make the geothermal generator, and uh, I found this thing. And I don't know what it is. Um, I, d I don't want to break it because that doesn't seem to be the way to gather it. Right clicking does nothing. I don't know what this is. Uh, I guess I'll mark it. And uh, we'll come back to it later. Um, all right, I'm really not that far from home, so we can just run. Um, and I'll, I'll show you how to make the geothermal generator, too. We should have enough materials by now, I think. Just got to get a little bit of glass. Um, no big deal. Okay. Um. Yeah. Oh. The lava. The lava burned it down. <laughs> Why did the lava burn it down? It should have been fine in there. I don't know what happened. Oh well. I thought it was just like totally glitching out on me for a second there. But apparently not. I need to remember to close my door when I leave. Um, okay. What we need is geothermal generator is going to require some empty cells, which means we need some tin for those, some refined iron, which is just smelting iron. We're going to need, oh crap, we're going to need battery. Um, what do we need for that copper cable? Crap. Okay, so we can't make one of those yet. Um, <laughs> wish we could, but we can't. So, yeah. Wait, what was it that I needed to make a battery for? Okay, now I'm confused. Uh, generator requires... Generator requires battery? Why? <laughs> Uh, okay, if you say so. Um, so let's let's go on an on an adventure and try to find that uh something that or some uh you know what I mean some stuff. Yeah, that stuff. Oh, let's smelt all this and some of this while we're gone. Because, like, why not? And do we have iron... Oh, we have iron smelting. Oh, we do have some iron here, too. Sweet. Which means we could turn this one into an iron furnace. And this is how you make them, by the way. Uh, you can do that, or you can just do um, iron like this. But this way, I'm just... I used stone instead of like three um, I used eight stone instead of three iron so since stone is renewable and m obviously much more plentiful I figured it'd be a better way to do it um, and then we can smell like yeah oopsies Let's, do we need any of that stuff to make a macerator 
machine block electronic circuit. Yes, we do. Okay. Um, I will just actually, you know, I'm going to take all that out. Um, because I feel like I'm wasting if I'm not using a macerator. Because I could easily get double that. Ignore the screenshot text there. I just accidentally pressed F2 instead of F3. Because you see that little green um, line on the minimap? It's, it's up here. It's actually a river, but there's no water in it because it's too high up. So I was just checking out to see if that was a river or not. And uh, it was. So let's see. There's a burning zombie over there. I, there's actually two redwood forests nearby. There's one over that way and one over that way. I think. Oh no, those are different kinds of trees, aren't they? Or are they? I have no idea. These ones are much more poofy. Ooh, pumpkins. Um, I, I don't really know what these trees are. I'd chop one down, but then I'd just have like this large chunk of a tree floating in midair. I don't care to do that, so. Maybe some other time we can get on top of one. Oh. Um, let's see what's in here, I guess. Um, we've got waypoints, so we know how to get home. I guess we don't really have to worry about getting lost. Um, oh, we do have to worry about that, though. No, bad creeper. Wow, totally didn't harm the tree. I was like, oh, well, on the bright side, we'll find out what's going on with that tree. And then that creeper went and ruined my... Holy crap, what is that? <laughs> well, if that's how the train generation works, then I'm going to be a really happy boy. Because... Wow. Okay. This place is crazy. Oh! I fell. It's alright. We're good. I'm just going to ignore that stuff in the ground. Because I don't feel like collecting it right now. Owie! Bad. Bad. Stop lagging so much, terrain generation. It's not like you're CPU intensive or anything. Um... Oh, there's a jungle. Guys, keep an eye out for rubber trees. Just like, all the time. And just yell at your screen if, uh, if you see one. Hopefully I'll be able to hear you. I'll just pretend that you're my next door neighbor for a minute or two. I guess I can take these now since I've, I'm, you know, I'm not caving and have space in my inventory. Um, okay. Well, that was a quick climate change. From hot and balmy to literally frozen wasteland. There's, like, actual ice here. I... What is it called? Is it a glacier? Yeah, it's a glacier. Whoa! Okay. Holy cow! What is happening? Terrain is going crazy. Well, that's snow, not ice. I thought it was going to be ice. Okay, I gotta get out of here. It's too much. It's too much for me to handle right now. I can't handle the truth, guys. I just can't handle it. The food's in the wrong spot. That's better. I noticed something was off earlier, but I couldn't tell what. I guess that was it. Okay, chickens, great. Um, I just want to find some rubber trees. That's all. That's all I want for Christmas is my two rubber trees. Well, a few more than that, actually. But okay, That's still jungle over there. I don't see it getting much better anytime soon. So let's try going in this direction. What is that? Over in that direction on the minimap. You see it? Is that just sand? Um, the little, like star thing. Oh, there's one over there, too. I guess it's just the way the sand is generating. Do you hear that? I guess it's just... Alright. It was just me swimming. Yeah, that's just sand. Alrighty. Um, the sounds sound messed up to me. That was a strange sentence. Um, 
Just because, like, occasionally I'll hear something and I'll be like, wow, that's not right. Like, there was some tapping noise that I was hearing there. I don't know what it was. I mean, I guess it was just splashing, but maybe it was lagging a little bit and echoing or something. That would make more sense to me, I guess. Okay, I guess this is just pine forest for... Oh, look, another one! you see that? It's one of those boxes. What are you? Are you a beehive? Is that what you are? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got it. May not seem like the best way to keep track of stuff, but uh, considering I've got so many of them now. But that's alright. I'll manage. Oh, okay. That was a little laggy. Just a tad bit. Yeah, yeah, that's... Ooh, rubber trees! A rubber tree, I mean. <laughs> Great. That's probably not going to help me all that much. Because what I need is saplings. Our sap... I need... What I need... I need saplings, okay? I don't know how that sentence was supposed to be phrased, but I need saplings. Um, I don't know if I can get saplings from, like... There might be a way to get saplings from the logs, honestly, uh, from, like, some weird machine, but I probably need rubber for that. So I can't really just do that. I did get one sapling, didn't I? did get one rubber tree sapling, so... If I chop down the tree, do I get the... Yeah, I do. I'm just going to chop it down for now. Um, <laughs> like I can take it back. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'm just chopping it down because it's, it's ugly. And I don't like it. Um, more rubber trees. Float Lava? I'll go for a swim, cow? Oh, your friend already did. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh, that's so sad. Alright, moving on. Ravine! It's not our ravine, but it's a ravine. There's plenty of coal in it, too. Another one! Ah. They're getting more and more mysterious. Especially because they're different colors. Red. That's not red. That's not red either. That's red. That's a little invasive. Intrusive, I suppose is a better word. Um, rubber trees? Rubber trees? Has some rubber trees? Any Anywhere? Somewhere? Just like one or two, maybe? I mean, I have the one sapling, which I could theoretically turn into one tree. But one tree is not nearly enough. Also, lava. Hi, lava. Um, let's try getting up here, get some high ground, see if we can't see something from far away. Just swimming up the waterfall, no big deal. Don't mind me. And get over here, hop up on that one. I'm a billy goat. Whoa! Is that connected? I don't think that's connected. I think that's not connected. That's just floating. That's pretty awesome. Whatever Feed the Beast does to terrain generation, I like it. Makes it more fantasy-like. Which... <clears throat> excuse me. Which I do like. So... Uh, there were rubber trees back there. I know, I saw them. <laughs> um, I'm just coming up here to see if there's any up here. Because if there are, then hooray. And if there are not, then, well, poop. Are these furs? Is that what these are? I'm going to take a piece. It's redwood. Sweet. Damn it, redwood planks. Great. Good to know. Just took a chunk out of it. It's alright, I won't be able to see that from most places, so it's almost like it didn't happen. 
Almost. I need... Uh, seriously, I need a jetpack here, because, like... <laughs> I find myself constantly jumping off of things with no way to, uh... negate the damage involved. And I would very much appreciate something that could do that for me. See, there's some rubber trees over there. Some rubber trees down here. I guess we just hit, like, forest that has rubber trees in it. Ow. Ow. Okay. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Breaking my legs and stuff. Well, let's get up here, and once we get these ones down, hopefully that'll be enough to, um... Frame rate's getting a little, a little antsy. Um, I should probably like delete a bunch of stuff. I have so much video on this computer; it's ridiculous. Like, I have a terabyte hard drive, right? And it's about half filled, and like half of that is videos. They aren't compressed or anything. I mean, it's not the raw video files, which are huge. Like, I've been playing for who knows how long, maybe a couple hours, and this file is going to be like probably like a hundred gigabytes. Um, it was like a half hour video is like 30 gigabytes, I think, so, you know, it's, it's pretty rough. But, um, after I've, uh, edited them and I, I put them together, that's what I keep. So I have all of, like, pretty much all of my old videos, except, I think, from, like, my first season. I don't know what happened to them. Apparently they disappeared at some point, so let's just hope that YouTube keeps it for whatever reason. Um, or doesn't get rid of it for whatever reason, I should say. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, moving on to this tree. Um, if I can get up there. Um, I just said um like four times in a row. Uh, <laughs> I hate it when I do that. I point out that I'm saying um, and then I say um, or, or I switch to uh because it isn't um. But, I forget what I was talking about. Alright, I... Uh, most of my computer's space is taken up by videos, so... Or I shouldn't say most of it, but... About a quarter of my entire total hard drive space is already filled up with my previous videos. Which, I mean, I do have a lot of videos, so I'm not really surprised. But... It's still just a lot of footage. Like, I don't remember how many hours it said it was, but it was more than a day's worth of footage for sure. I don't I don't really remember. I should really check that out, see how many hours of footage I have all together. Um Like I have I there there's a couple series, you know, here and there that are not that long and then there's you know, you've got a whole uh let's play which is pretty long and all of the maps that I've done. So I'm not really surprised, but anyway. You guys are probably pretty bored watching me chop down these trees, but, uh, how many saplings do I have? seven saplings. That's, that should be good for a while, I think. Um, I don't really know how forestry works, but I believe I can make it so that it plants and harvests trees for me, which would be nice, but I don't really know how to get that working, so I'll have to look that up before I can actually do anything with it. Um... Yeah, I'll just meet you guys back, um, back at the house when I'm done with this. I'll plant some, some of these trees and, uh, probably bone meal some of them. Maybe all of them if I can. And hopefully we'll, we'll have some, some, uh, wires. We'll have some rubber ready to make some wires so we can make that geothermal generator. So, yeah, I'll see you guys shortly.